Welcome back. Now, she is a product of the National School of the Arts and has a, a B.Tech degree in Music and Jazz Studies from the Swan University of Technology. And it's her diversity both in music style and traits that has music lovers paying attention. That's a songwriter, vocalist and composer Bokang, her own skin, Ramat Lapeng. Uh, Ramat Lapeng will perform alongside Cape Town-based multifaceted pianist, singer and songwriter Numfundot Aluva and Belgium-based singer and composer Tutupuani at the Jazz Queens concert today at the Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens. She joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Life. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. I mean, take us back to where it all started for you musically. We touched on you being a product of the National School of the Arts, but when did it finally click that music is my thing? Um, in grade seven, yeah. I actually did not could sing. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> most people have the story that they knew they could sing. But yes. I discovered it at fourteen um, at a at, a, at my at old my old school, and our teacher was looking for a you know a, choir, a lead for our choir, and I just happened to be a part of it. And he said you should lead the song. So I then realized I could sing. Yeah. And from from there on, I think the love for it just grew. Um, the choir also just made me realize that maybe I want to be a soloist one day. And yeah, from there on, 14, I asked to audition um, at the National School of the Arts. And the National School of the Arts was the big pivotal part of me falling in love with music and jazz music specifically. So the love for it just grew and grew. And I'm here today because yeah. of, of, of I that. wanted to talk about jazz and why this specific genre spoke to you. Master played absolutely amazing jazz records when I was growing up. And um, I always just connected to it, you know, and I always felt like the culture uh, of jazz was also very prevalent in, 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 in Soweto, where, you know, um, mm. um, most of our parents are from in Johannesburg. And um, I just fell in love with what it, the message and what it was trying to evoke in, you know, black uh, people. Um, and I just from there on just resonated with it. Um, and obviously it's quite rare for a young person to say, I, I love jazz. Yeah. Uh, but I just I couldn't shake it off and I just realized that I really want to be a part of this culture um, and I want to to just you know surround myself with with the beauty but with also the message behind it and also there's a lot of things that you can learn from jazz mm. just besides the music but the, the, the there's the stories that have been told about what we've been through as as, as, as in this country in the continent and I wanted to be a part of the story yeah. of, 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 of what jazz represents in the country and the continent I want to speak about her own skin talk to us about this concept how did it come about it came about in my first year in university I was sort of feeling out of place um, it's in this industry or just in general in arts and entertainment it's very difficult to remain you know authentic you're trying to find out what you're about and how mm. do you stand out and everybody's sort of following uh, a trend or trying to keep up with the trend and I felt like okay so how do I fit in how do I sort of um, cement myself in something and somebody says that's a Bokang trait or something that Bokang would do especially in music because everybody's other you know in popular music or you whatever genre that you pick and sort of there's some, most cases where you don't really feel like you can be yourself there. So her own skin was like me trying to talk to myself and say, I'm comfortable in my own skin. There's nobody else like me. Um, it's sort of comforting myself throughout right. the journey, you know. Um, and also in universities, there's moments where you compare yourself to different other artists. And it sort of has a, dam a, a damning or... or a, 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 um, what's the word? Detrimental effect on you, because then once you do that... Um, you sort of can't get out of it. So comparisons are just something that I wanted to come out of. It's not an easy journey to be comfortable mm -hmm. in your own skin, but I think I'm like heading towards that, uh, uh, you know, comfort rather. But yeah. yeah that's so you're performing at Botanical Gardens today. What can we look forward to? Uh, you can look forward to uh, a really great time with learn um, my new songs uh, coming up and I'm hoping that you'll hear them in my album coming soon and with uh, performing alongside uh, Dudu Bwani, Nomfuno Kaluva and I'm really grateful to Umu um, Notemba for, for, for this opportunity and it's just going to be beautiful. The weather's great so I'm very excited yeah. about that so come with your, uh, with your family and just have an absolutely amazing time listening to jazz music um, and there's so much to look forward to. Uh, there's also DJs, um, a duo that will be playing, celebrating women in jazz. Um, I'm very excited about what this month has to offer for all of us, especially in the, the genre of jazz also. But yeah, there's so much to say about the, uh, the, uh, the, 
the performance and the people that we will be performing with. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, and I can imagine, I mean, it's, it's quite a big deal. You know, a young jazz artist performing along the likes of Nomfundo Taluva uh, and then Tutupuane as well. What does it mean to you personally? Personally, I've been listening to uh, both of them since I was a teenager yeah. and Tutupuane since I was a little girl. So I think the first time when I saw the lineup, I, I got very emotional. I said, oh, these, these years that I've been putting in and really just being in their surroundings and just in their space is quite humbling and also just reaffirming as a young girl that you can actually do it. So I'm very excited and I, I, I'm glad that they're making space for us uh, to be a part of these particular, you know, experiences. Um, and I'm grateful that we've got people like Mam Notemba to, 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 to actually create spaces like that for mm. us. Um, and yeah, there's so much to say about it. I probably will get emotional yeah. if I speak <laughs> even more. But you say yeah. any more. I I want to talk about the songs that you're going to perform for us. Tell us yes. a little bit about those. Um, I will be performing um, the Chan song. A Chan song is basically, I think chant in Africa is a, you know, is, 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 um, chanting rather, is a big part of um, African music. The Chan song really is also speaking about, I speak about my clan names. Um, so I put that inside mm. to just re-emphasize who I am because music all is just a really great way to sort of tell people who you are. And the last song is called The Waters. I was, I was inspired by Fela Guti's song. I think there's a song called Waters. And I just thought, how about I sort of pay homage to, 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 to West, uh, West Africa? Because I think we always focus on one part of the continent. And mm. I really I would like to show that we listen to all types of music in this continent. And we can still also relate with them and create sort of similar sounds, regardless of which part, are you, which part of, of Africa you're in. So... All right. two songs represent that. Bokang, I'm excited. Thank you so much. Thank I'm excited about your music. Thank you so much. Uh, Bokang, her own skin. Ramatlapeng, she's a songwriter, vocalist, um, and talking uh, to us about her musical journey. She's also performing at the Jazz Queens concert today at the Walter Susudu Botanical Gardens alongside uh, Tutupuane and, of course, Nomfundo Alova. That's all happening uh, today uh, at the Botanical Gardens. Gates open at 10 a.m.